Dear YouTube, for the first time in history, artists from around the world are learning from each other and communicating to each other. We can not only see each other's work, but often we can see how the work was made. The master artists of this generation are exhibiting their work on YouTube right now. This is unprecedented in history. Artists of the past have their work exhibited in museums, and museums have overflowed with generations of masterpieces. Our generation has YouTube. Yes, it's a museum. Think about it. Even major museums are exhibiting on YouTube right now. The current generation of artists has more expressive possibilities of artistic media than generations of the past, and I think that we've carried on art's rich tradition. Here are 20 examples of what I consider to be master artwork. Click on any of the annotated links and they will open in a new tab. Are you impressed? Yeah, me too. But do the leaders at YouTube fully understand the scope of what they've created? That question will be answered in time, but as of right now, there is no category specifically for visual artists. The closest three categories are how to in style, education, and film and animation. How to in style is dominated by makeup tutorials, workout videos, and fashion tips. The education category does not mention the visual arts, and that is especially scary in a time when so many schools have totally eliminated the arts from their curriculums. Film and animation is the closest match, but its classification is much more limiting than a visual arts category. It is time to mobilize people. A visual arts category would mean a lot more views for all of us. And if you think about it, that's all an artist ever asks. They want a chance to create and to be seen. Just like how a poet uses words, we use imagery to communicate. And many have said that a picture is worth a thousand words. It is my New Year's resolution to help YouTube realize that it needs a visual arts category. But the good thing about YouTube is that they do listen. Think of how they're always asking for feedback. So what's the plan, Merrill? I'm going to ask you to consider doing two things. One, post a vlog telling YouTube why they need a visual arts category. I don't care if you're Mark Crilly with over 400,000 subscribers or if you joined YouTube yesterday. If you are tired of ranking behind 10 pages of makeup tutorials, do a vlog and either post it to this video or mail it to me. I will put your vlogs into a playlist which I will attempt to present to YouTube. 2. Leave a comment in the YouTube forum. I recommend going to the forum that I linked to in the video description. My friend Teresa Richardson, who has the fourth largest arts channel on YouTube, already started this conversation in this forum. If there is enough comments, an administrator might respond. I encourage you to keep your comments positive and take the perspective that YouTube has given us a great thing, but we want to suggest a way to make it better. I want to finish by saying that um, there probably are bigger fights uh, to fight in the world. Um, for instance, so many countries in 2011 fought and won their democracy. Um, this battle um, of getting an arts category for YouTube it's minor in the grand scheme of things, but I think that it's something that is important um, to artists. Artists uh, need to get their work out there. You know, we, we like to exhibit our work, and um, YouTube is a really great thing. Um, it's been wonderful for me. I just think that this is something that will make it even better. Um, wanted to thank everybody. Uh, this, is, uh, this has been a great year uh, for me, and um, you know, thank you for your continued support. Um, Onward and upward to bigger and better things in 2012. Happy New Year.